house is on fire, so shit's gonna go down. They have a lot of sexy vampires that I don't know if I want to run away from or kiss, so Everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I'm here with a little book haul that I have from a couple of publishers as well as two books from my friend Molly Likovich. She sent me the first two books of her series which I absolutely love so I want to share them all with you and give you guys a little peek at what I've received lately in my mailbox so without further ado let us get started. So first up I'll talk about Molly's books just because I've already read them and I absolutely adore them so I want to scream about them from the rooftop but they are the first two books in her Library of Teeth series. The first one is Bite Back, the second one is Somewhere in Styria. These two books follow Henrietta Richards, also known as Henry, who attends a very prestigious and pretentious college. She likes to consider herself one of the smartest people there and then she meets Dorian and Dorian is almost as smart as her and she instantly is attracted to him but then she finds out that he is her classics professor and he's also a vampire and he gives her a little invitation to join his vampire sex ring and it's just like a lot of fun like these two books I ate up. I highly recommend them. They have a lot of vampire sex in them and I'm just all here for it. I blurbed the first book to say that it has a very charming cast of characters and very beautiful prose and they have a lot of sexy vampires that I don't know if I want to run away from or kiss so if that sounds like it would be something up your alley I definitely suggest you pick these books up. I'll leave the links to purchase them down below. Thank you so much to Molly for sending them to me because when I read them I ate them up so I'm very excited to actually have them on my shelf. Now. The next couple of books are all from Simon & Schuster. The first one is She Gets the Girl. This is by Rachel Lippincott and Allison Derrick. This is the author of Five Feet Apart. She wrote this with her wife which I think is so much fun. This follows two girls Molly and Alex. They are both trying to prove to their dream girl that they are the one for them. So they decide to help each other other in their little conquest but they end up falling for each other and I just think that the whole premise sounds really cute. I think I read somewhere that it was compared to You've Got Mail as well as This Is Us so if that sounds like something you'd be into then check this out. I'm actually about to start this on audiobook like once I'm done filming this video so I am very intrigued. I think it sounds really cute and also I just I'm obsessed with this cover. Next up is The Children on the Hill by Jennifer McMahon. This one says that it is genre bending and inspired by Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I think it sounds really cool. The first half of the book takes place in 1978 where a psychiatrist brings a young girl who is mentally ill home with her to kind of socialize her with her grandchildren and I'm assuming that things are not going to go so well and then it also takes place in 2019 when a girl named Lizzie Shelley is a podcast host and she is going to Vermont where an abduction just took place and a monster sighting is happening and the town is in an uproar so she is going to investigate it I guess. It says that her sister is a monster of some sort so maybe her sister ends up being this girl that was in 1978 who went to the house. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm sure it's all connected somehow, but the house is on fire, so shit's gonna go down. A lot of people are currently hauling this. I believe it's somebody's book club pick. I want to say Gabby from Gabby Reads, but I can't remember if that is correct. It might be Jesse. Let me know. I'm sure you guys all know whose it is, so let me know in the comments because I can't remember. I watch too many booktube videos. Next up is Queen of the Tiles. This is by Hannah Alcaf. This one I'm intrigued by because I play Words with Friends with my mom like every single day, which is like pretty much Scrabble. This follows a Scrabble champion whose best friend just died at a Scrabble competition, which I am very intrigued with what that's all about, but now now the throne is up for grabs. She's hoping that by winning she can move past her friend's death but then her friend's Instagram account becomes live again and somebody is posting on it saying that the friend's death wasn't as clear-cut as the police are saying. So everybody's in an uproar trying to figure out what happened to her friend but I just think the whole Scrabble competition setting is kind of cool so I'm intrigued and I do want to know what happened to the friend. And then the final two books are from Penguin. They are graphic novels. They are both part of the Montague twin 
Jane's series. The first one is The Witch's Hand, the second one is The Devil's Music, but this is about two teen detectives and they have some kind of superpower, which I don't know what it is, but like I said, it's a graphic novel, so I'll be able to fly through these very quickly. They are both very heavy also, like I could knock somebody out with this, but I am definitely intrigued and I will let you guys know what I think about this. But yeah, teen detectives with powers, I'm here for it. Alright everybody, so those were the couple of books that I've gotten from publishers as well as Molly. Like I said, I will leave Molly's links down below. I definitely think that you guys should pick up her books because they are a lot of fun and I just love Molly's writing styles. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!